Guys, you already know what time it is. It's time to put up or shut up for a lot of these NBA teams. It's time to get better, make that final push to become a true contender, or it's time to become even better if you're already a contender, or it's time to blow everything up and realize that you're a rebuilding team and there's nothing wrong with that. In the comments below, I want you guys to drop me teams that need to rebuild but just won't. Guys, I know what it's like to watch a team in mediocrity with no real direction. If you're a fan of one of these teams, my hat goes off to you because it can be an absolute struggle, especially when it feels like your owner and GM have absolutely no basketball knowledge at all. When it comes to being a GM, I feel like if I was inserted into a GM position in the NBA, there's no shot I would be the worst one in the league. And that alone is a problem in itself. Is this me teasing my rebuild channel? Yes, rebuilds coming very soon. To all of those teams struggling with bad coaches or bad GMs, bad rosters, trust me when I tell you guys things get better. Look at Anthony Edwards. Everybody thought this team was down bad, but man, is he giving them a bunch of promise. Speaking of promise, there's a lot of great teams fighting for contention this year. Some just one move away. This video, we have to talk Miami Heat. We have to talk so many different trades and rumors that I'm going to definitely have to bring you guys at least one more video today. But before we go any further, let's get a word from our sponsor. Manscaped is trusted by over 2 million men worldwide. In addition to providing the right tools for safe and easy grooming, Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. You guys have to check this out. They sent me their all-in-one grooming kit. It comes with a lot of really awesome things to make sure that you're staying hygienic and your game is up to par. One of my favorite Manscaped tools that is included in the grooming kit is the Lawnmower 3.0. When it comes to full body grooming, Manscaped posterizes the competition. Manscaped has redesigned their electric trimmer. The Lawnmower 3.0 is simply the best hygiene tool for the modern man. It's rechargeable, it's waterproof, and it's cordless, so you can easily trim in the shower, post, or pre-game. Believe me when I tell you guys, this is the MVP of grooming kits for men. Get 20% off and free international shipping with promo code COOP20 at www.manscaped.com. You'll find all the links necessary in the description below. Again, a major shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Let's talk hoops. For the most part, this trade deadline has been real loud, but we haven't seen that much action as of right now. And I think all of that is actually going to change really soon. And the fun thing is, I'm not just referencing trades. I think there's going to be a real buyout market this year. I'm talking about quality players hitting the buyout market. Guys that can start on multiple teams in the NBA. Now, when I made my LaMarcus Aldridge video about a week or two ago, I speculated that with this LaMarcus Aldridge move, the Spurs may be inclined to go in a different direction with DeMar DeRozan also, it only made sense. The Spurs have so much young talent. Even though they're in playoff contention this year, it makes more sense to develop their young talent and get their young talent minutes that matter while getting something back for DeMar DeRozan who clearly has an interest in playing elsewhere. Look, I'm not a fortune teller. I don't have this magical crystal ball in front of me, but I don't think you have to be a fortune teller to say that the Spurs aren't true contenders. Respect for the Spurs for playing their position. Reportedly, the Spurs have made it clear that LaMarcus Aldridge and DeMar DeRozan are available for trade. DeRozan's having a phenomenal season. He should have been an all-star this year. He's scoring at such a high rate. He's shooting 49% from the field, 31% from three, not the best, but you know what you're getting when you're getting DeMar DeRozan. He's scoring 21 points per game. He's averaging seven assists per game, which is a career high and shows a late evolution. When DeRozan came to San Antonio, a lot of people didn't know how he would fit into Pop's system. DeRozan has shown that not only is he flexible, but he's also a high level player 
that can go out and help a team that's contending or looking to contend. Now, people are speculating that DeMar wants to play in the East. And part of me wonders if that has anything to do with the fact that LeBron James is West. Hey, if you know, you know. While that's an obvious troll, check this out. There are some Eastern Conference teams that are interested in DeMar DeRozan. The Chicago Bulls front office seems to have interest in adding DeMar DeRozan for a postseason push. While I love DeMar DeRozan, while Zach Levine needs as much help as possible, I'm not sure how the Bulls can look at DeRozan and say this is the answer to not only our short-term problems, but also our long-term problems. If the Bulls are making moves to just make the playoffs or make the second round this season, then I have to say I truly worry for the future of that franchise. Look, it's different if you sign DeMar DeRozan. But DeMar's an asset, and chances are you're going to have to give something pretty solid up to get a player like him. Chicago needs to look long-term, not short-term. End of discussion. Speaking of DeMar DeRozan, have you guys seen this Kyle Lowry news? More than one league source has said that they believe the Heat will end up with Kyle Lowry and LaMarcus Aldridge, or Oladipo and LaMarcus Aldridge? If you guys want even more fun, reportedly the Heat think with Lowry, Butler, and Adebayo, they can challenge any big three in the NBA league-wide. Comment down below right now. I want to know if you guys think that Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo would be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any big three in the NBA league-wide. I'm not going to lie, that's a tough big three. Depending on the compensation, I could see the Heat making a move for Kyle Lowry. For everybody that's been missing everything going down in Toronto, all I'm going to say is things are getting messier and messier by the second. The Raps have a lot of promise, but with so many players missing so much time for them, the season has been way tougher than usual. Reports are saying that Kyle Lowry's free agency is happening right now. The expectation is that Lowry is going to have a new contract by the end of this week. It's either going to be to stay in Toronto or it's going to be with Miami or Philadelphia. Kyle Lowry is great, but he's 35 years old. I really wonder what the compensation for a 35, 36 year old Kyle Lowry looks like. And for those of you that thought I forgot about Oladipo, no chance. The reports are that there is a strong confidence that the Rockets will trade Oladipo before the trade deadline. Regardless of what happens at this trade deadline, I am 100% on board with the Houston Rockets trading Depot. The Rockets are clearly a team whose direction is confusing. They may be best suited trading away assets to acquire more assets while also trying to make sure they keep their pick this year which by the way is top four protected if their pick falls out of the top four then the struggles that steven silas have had to endure this season would have all been for nothing reportedly the heat like depot so do the knicks but they're reluctant to offer a premium package for Depot. That being said, it does appear that the Rockets do have some good offers. Comment below any rumors that I may have missed or that you want to see in the second video for today. Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm Get Like Coop bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.